Ripple locals are saying no to retail or apartments on the Broad Ripple High School property after it closes this summer. Yep, a new survey from the Broad Ripple Village Association shows that locals want whoever buys the building to use it for education. 24 Hour News 8's Tim McNicholas live in Broad Ripple now. Tim, well, what are you learning about the survey? Well, Broad Ripple is jam packed with bars, shops, restaurants. The Village Association says when it comes to retail, Broad Ripple is maxed out. But when it comes to education, there is about to be some open space. The association surveyed people in person at an open house and online. What would you like to see at Broad Ripple in Compton? These blue and orange stickers represent people who answered that question. It was overwhelming that they wanted some type of community resource. Ken Springer is a Broad Ripple Village Association board member. He says a scholastic use earned the most votes ahead of arts and theater, a community event center, or a green space. As for commercial and residential use, those sheets didn't get much color. If a developer comes in and says we want to tear down everything and build an apartment complex, we're going to say that's not what we want in Broad Ripple. The Village Association is giving input and working with IPS, but IPS will ultimately pick the buyer. The district plans to sell the building for six to eight million dollars. A district spokesperson says IPS is determined to find a good fit for the neighborhood. The community has spoken. James Turner is a Broad Ripple grad with the sophomore daughter of the school. I am optimistic because I think in a community like Broad Ripple, uh, they have a they have a big say and a big stake in what goes on in their community. IPS says they have not taken any bids yet. 86% who took the village survey said they want some kind of community resource. 70% said they want another school. We've had some informal talks. Springer says some non-IPS schools have shown interest in the property, but he won't say which schools. We gathered the survey, like I keep saying, to represent the community, and I think it's a great start. The Springer says 77% of the people who took the survey live in or near Broad Ripple. IPS says they don't plan to sell this property until after the school year. They don't want to disrupt the kids at all during the year. They plan to use the money from the sale. They'll pour that money back into the remaining schools. By the way, 232 days. That's how long until the last, last day of school here at Broad Ripple. In Broad, Broad, excuse me, in Broad Ripple tonight, I'm Tim McNicholas, 24-Hour News 8.